ya Konga the coach and the pioneer of vision dot of football Kenya habari zenu wa Kenya wenzangu leo hii nataka tuzungumze kuhusu Harambe Stars our national team i want us to talk about our national team Harambe Stars yeah our national team Harambe Stars is like a prostitute hotel where every sinner yeah where every sinner or every man who is a sinner want to go in that hotel and sign a visitors book you know what i mean because our national team Harambe Stars yeah we have had 30 coaches since independent that is a big number that's a lot of coaches but yet we see no progress in our team wa Kenya wenzangu around nine, around uh, 98 Kenya was ranked around, i think 69 fifa ranking today our national team is ranked 108 fifa ranking so are we going backward or forward despite that we have had 30 coaches we have only had four presidents yeah since independent even if you look uh, the history yeah ask about your local mp how many mps yeah have ever been elected since independent i know the number is very small but when we come uh, when we come to football our national team has had uh, 30 coaches therefore what this tells you this is a trend that is telling us the issue is not the coaches every coach who come there spend less than on average they spend less than one year eight month and they go yeah the history is so big i don't want to go into that because like when okumbi was brought in bobby williamson was sacked we were told is to reduce cost then after a while okumbi was sacked yeah and uh, Paul Put was uh, was brought in. I don't know what that was to do with. Maybe maybe lack of experience uh, when it comes to Kenyan coaches. But I don't know. I'm just guessing that because we were never told. Now, when Paul Put left, uh, Sebastian Mine was brought in. Now Sebastian Mine has been sent out. Now Kemanzi has been brought in. The issue is this is Kemanzi's third time to coach our national team. Uh, Ghost Mule has coached our national team for three times already. Kina Kadenge, the late Kadenge, he has coached our national team. Uh, Zico has been an interim coach in our national team. I can go on and on and many other foreign coaches I can talk about here, including Akina, Akina Fabish, yeah? uh, Reinhard Fabish, Urem Jerumani, and by he was the best coach Kenya has ever had. But this is what I want to say. All those coaches, it cannot be that they are not good enough because every coach who comes, his name gets ruined and then he has he is sent away. Maybe we need a woman coach. Maybe the time has come when we should scout for a woman coach to coach our Harambe Stars team. But Wakenya Wenzangu, let me say this. The issue, uh, the issue is this. When me, Sebastian Mine came in, we were told he is going to make us qualify for the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations and the World Cup 2022. But today is 2019 and he has gone. So I know we qualified for Africa Cup of Nations 2019, but that qualification was circumstantial. We did not qualify because Kenya was good enough. Because teams were increased from 16 to 24. That means half of Africa had to qualify, even team like, like, Akina, like Akina Djibouti. So that let us not for once think that we had a good team in Africa Cup of Nations. Another thing, Ghana scored on goal. Sierra Leone was uh, Sierra Leone was banned. And remember, we had played Sierra Leone one game yeah, in their country and they had already beaten us. So they were ahead of us in terms of the point, but they were, they were banned by FIFA. So Kenya had a special circumstance, and I will keep calling our qualification for 2019 Africa Cup of Nations as a circumstantial qualification. It was not a real qualification. But I go back to what I said. Our national team, Harambe Stars, is like a, is like a prostitute hotel. So guys, we need to get angry enough. We need to get emotional enough. We need to do something about our football. Yeah, our Kenyan football need a holistic approach so that we can get to a point where we have a good team. If Kenya has a good team, even 
a parent, Muzazi wa mtu, can coach that team to qualify for tournaments that we want. It is not the issue of coaches. Yes, coaches need experience, but that is not the answer right now at the moment. The important thing is for us to, to grow our football, to sort our football, to scout enough talent, to give chance to so many boys so that we have enough talent. I said before, even a player manager can take a team to the World Cup if the team is good enough. The issue is our football system. Kenyans, my fellow Kenyans, I love Kenyan football. I want us to make progress. Please support me. Get angry enough. Get emotional enough. Let us do something. I leave you in peace. I'm gone.